I'm working toward my first big milestone, which is breaking 100. So I'm starting out on the forward tees and I'll be teeing off with a six iron. So that's gonna be my top end club. So I'm not gonna show you the entire round. Uh, that would be too painful to watch, but I'm gonna show you a couple of the holes. Uh, so we're gonna look at the great, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the great. Uh, so the fifth hole is a 229 par four uh, for the front tees. And not only was I able to get the ball in the fairway on my tee shot, but I was able to get on the green with my approach shot uh, to putt and get off for a four. If only it was always that easy, but let's go take a look. All right, we're gonna jump straight from the great uh, right to the ugly. Um, golf does that to you. It definitely will humble you in a hurry. Uh, so the 10th hole, par three, uh, 101 yards. So it's a short part three, but it is surrounded by three bunkers and has a hill that kind of drops off off the back. So you don't wanna be in any of the bad spots. Um, it's a pretty punishing hole. And as you're about to see, uh, I got punished. Okay, so as you can see, I spent a lot of time on the beach in that hole and I didn't even get a suntan out of it. Um, so I, no doubt what you can tell is I have not spent a lot of time on bunker play and getting out of bunkers. So that's definitely something I've got to add to my practice routine. Uh, I can't be uh, triple bogeying par three holes if I'm gonna start hitting my milestone. So moving on to the next hole, uh, I did rebound a little bit. Uh, we'll call this one the good. Uh, this is hole 13, 307 yard par four. Uh, so let's take a look at that. All right, so that, that approach shot out of the rough uh, was always gonna be a tough ask for me with a six iron. And again, reminder, that's the, the top, the biggest club that I'm playing with for this particular round. So instead, I went seven iron, uh, knowing it was gonna be a little bit short, um, but I'm pretty confident with that little seven iron uh, bump and run up on the green, uh, was able to two putt and, uh, and get off with a bogey. Now, this is the second most difficult uh, hole on the course, so I'll take bogey right now on that anytime I can get it. So you've now seen uh, the great, uh, the good, and the ugly. So we're gonna go to the bad right now. Uh, so this is hole 16. It's a small dog leg. Now from the forward tees, most of that's kind of negated. Um, but I pulled my, uh, my tee shot, which left me about 120 yards on the approach, uh, knocked that into the woods. Uh, and so I had to hack my way out of the woods, ended up in the side, uh, just out of the sand on the bunker, had to make kind of a crazy little chip shot. Um, long putt from the fringe and, uh, and got out of there uh, with a du double bogey. So definitely took my licks on that one. Uh, wasn't the best hole. Uh, started off in a bad spot, just putting myself in the rough. Um, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that one. So looking back at this round was definitely not my best day on the course. I uh, shot 102. 
Um, and to tell you the truth, it was very distracting being on camera for the first time trying to, uh, trying to play and shoot. Uh, my 15-year-old uh, videographer smirking in the background on some of the duffs and, uh, and things like that definitely didn't help. Um, but I went out the next day and I shot a 96 and I've had a several rounds below 100 since then. So pretty comfortable there and so I'm ready to move back to the next milestone. So that's going to move back a tee set. This will be, I guess, what they call the senior tees on some golf courses. I'm going to introduce a 4 and 5 hybrid to the, my bag uh, and start to kind of you know, go around 200 yards off the tee with the goal again of breaking 100. Now my next question for you guys, I'd love to get your input, is where do I go from there? Uh, do I go ahead and stay pat, stay on the senior tees, um, keep working until I can break 90 consistently? Or should I just go ahead and move back to the men's tees, uh, pull the driver out, and see if I can break 100 from there and, and work my game from the, the men's tees the rest of the way? So I'd love to get your input. Uh, if you wanna comment below, let me know what you think I should do next. And if you're liking this content, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There's lots more good stuff coming. And I want to thank you today for watching.